Well, deep frying is never relaxing, but I like that bit of frisson of fear. But one chicken thigh is very easy to do. The first thing I'm going to do is make a marinade for the chicken I'm using kefir. I think it's meant to be kefir, which is sort of cultured milk. You can use buttermilk or plain yogurt. Into that goes a fat clove of garlic. I want this to have a bit of punch. Right, my jailer's spoons. First salt, always important. Ah, oh, now the hot smoked paprika, which really is smoky. Bit of fireside warmth. Maybe a bit more than warmth. <laughs> Dijon. Beautiful amber maple syrup. Teeny bit. And a bit of lemon. I mean, the kefir is quite tangy anyway, but I love adding a bit more lemon. It's all ready for the chicken. I use a skinless bone chicken thigh, which is just perfect for one person, and it fries quickly because it sort of opens out a bit, as you can almost see at this stage. And obviously, before the chicken goes in the oil, it does have to have a wonderful crunchy coating, and that comes simply from flour. Hot smoked paprika again. And some salt. There is quite a lot of flour, but I want a very, very crunchy coating. There we are, my little chickadee. What makes this chicken so crunchy on the outside is getting a good shaggy coating of flour, and that means double dredging. I'm trying to be patient, I'm getting hungrier. Every last bit. And I think we are ready to fry. That's the right noise. So I reckon it'll need about three minutes aside at 180. This is just about as low stress as deep frying ever can be. One pan. One chicken thigh. Easy. Look at this beauty. Look at it, so golden and brown. And that wonderful craggy carapace. That's what's going to give me crunch. I'm going to let it stand for a bit on the kitchen paper because I have learnt the hard way. I nearly always burn my mouth and it, that just ruins everything. I love the building of a sandwich. first layer has to be mayo. This is garlic mayo. And in it, the crispy chilli oil. And a teeny bit of honey. It just balances it. Slather City. Iceberg has to be. When you want crunch, you want iceberg. So, on top of the iceberg, the chicken. All that talk about my gherkin earlier, but I haven't sliced it yet. And the kimchi. 
slight ceremonial hush has fallen over me. It's partly just the anticipation of biting into this. And I'm never without my pink pickled onions. Lovely and mild and beautiful. OK, roof on. I'm going in. Ah, oh, that sound, you see? No, that's going to be good. It's hot, but not too hot, I think. Mmm. Mmm. 